Hey everybody, I wanted to play around and do a different technique in my extreme. I'm sorry, this is the relaxing dot to dot under the sea. I did um, this fish here. And instead of coloring it, I wanted to try my Ken Oliver's color bursts. So what you need to do is I like to spray the paper first. So I'm just going to lightly spray over the fish. I'm just trying to see where and then you just kind of want to put some several dots. You do not need a lot of this stuff. spot right here by like really that little dot it goes a lot a long way okay and then I like to spray it again this is when you know the coolness happens always have something underneath to protect your page now you can just get right up close to it and spray it wouldn't saturate it crazy because ooh, uh, you know, it's going to warp your pages already. You know that. And then you can just kind of play around with it. Move it around. You don't want to go too crazy with the colors so they don't make mud. Uh, if it's settled into a crack, you can always use your brush. Brush it out if you want to. But I normally just like to just brush it down here. And try to get it to go where I want it to go. All over the page. And back this way. That was the purpose of putting the water <coughs> down first. So it kind of stays where you want it to go. And then you can easily paint it to the areas that you want it and when it dries it'll leave this really cool watercolor effect and then we're going to go back down here so dots over here And then maybe just let it drip down the page. I like the cool dripping effect on a page or a journal page or something like that. Let it do its thing. And while that's going, get you some paper towels or tissues or something. And then just let that drip. And if you see any other spots, let me take this off now. If you see any other spots, like right here, you can see it. right here, there's still some powder. So I might just take a little tiny, little tiny spritz. See it activating? And it will reactivate. So once it dries, don't put any more layers of water on it. And you can just make it go wherever you want. Turn it upside down a little bit. Maybe go this way. I know it's kind of off camera, but. Okay. 
can dry some portions. And if you want it to go maybe a little further out, you want to try something different. You know, feel free to add more color like up here. Maybe just the one color, maybe just blue. I don't just look like anything on the page, or, but there really is. Isn't that just super neat? I love it. New technique you can use on your coloring book pages. Um, and then just let it dry. And when it, it does dry, it's going to be kind of crinkly. Some people hate that. I personally, it doesn't bother me at all. I don't care either way. I kind of like the sound of the crinkling pages when you're flipping them around. Um, <clears throat> just let it dry. And uh, don't keep putting water on it because even when it dries, it will reactivate. So just be real careful and you can still manipulate it if it's in a crease or something like that. You can get it to go and bubble away. See, look right here, there's some more that hasn't been activated. You can either spray it or manipulate your brush. Kind of like that. We can look like he's really underwater here. See, all this hasn't been activated right here. Let me spray up here again. And that's what's really cool about it. You can just make it flow and do what you want. And when it's dry, when the whole picture is completely dry, I will take a, um, a waterproof, I will take a black marker and I will outline my fish in black, you know, the eye and everything. I know it's a dot to dot, but I still want to outline the key features, um, the fin and everything. And then, um, oops, it'll pop out. You can put some um, white highlights also. So it's really up to you how much you want to do or how little you want to do. Alright everybody here, um, thanks for watching and I appreciate it. Please hit that like and thumbs up if you want me to try any other techniques in my coloring books, just let me know. Um, talk to you later, bye bye.